I heard about something called uh, Rauch beer, or as the guy at Binney's called it, Rausch beer. I think his pronunciation is incorrect. Rauch means smoke, as in Rachen verboten, smoking is forbidden, and beer means beer. So I emailed the guy at Binney's and I said, hey, uh, do you carry any Rauch, Rauch beer, any smoked beer? And he said, yeah. So I went there a few days ago. Yeah, and this guy was on sale. This is a, I think it's a full pint. Um, 5.8% alcohol by volume. One pint or one, one pint and 0.9 fluid ounces. Whatever. So it's a Leichheim Stein beer, and Stein means stone, and beer means beer. And um, this is Geschaffen durch Feuer und Stein, so something Schaffen, whatever the hell it means, through fire and stone. What they used to do was they used to take stones and heat them directly in a fire and then pull them out and then put them into the mashing tubs. And obviously when that happened, uh, you know, you had like a, a very hot stone coming into contact with uh, vegetative matter. And any sugar in there was basically caramelized. And of course, uh, any, any, um, gosh, what's the word? Cellulose was uh, turned to soot. And in fact, when I looked up uh, Steinbeer in, on, on the web, <clears throat> it says Steinbeer is not mashed in kettles but in wooden tubs. And its name is derived from the hot stones that were put into the mashing tubs to achieve the required temperature for production. Due to the contact of the glowing hot stones, often heated directly in the fire with the malt, the beer, the resulting beer has a taste of caramel and soot. This, um, my only, my only real beef with this Stein beer was that it uh, was a bit watery for my taste. Now this is bizarre because this had a, um, it has a 5.8 percent. I'm not quite sure why this is not. Uh, well, I'm not getting a clear resolution here on my cell phone. I apologize, but this is a 5.8 percent alcohol by volume, so it's a, it just it's a bit beyond what I like to see in my beer. Uh, it was amber but cloudy, and that was fine. Didn't mind. Um, the taste was good. It was a good taste, but in general, it just it just um, tasted a bit too watery for my tastes. And it came with this nice little doohickey. I I like to know what these are called. And, uh, there you go, you know, modern technology at work. Don't know why the hell this is not uh, resolving clearly. But uh, glad I tried it, because I've never had a Rauch or Rausch beer, whatever you want to call it. I have never had a smoked beer before, and now I've had it. <clears throat> and this was, uh, this whole bottle was on sale. It was two forty nine for the entire bottle. So I said, why not? Glad I tried it, but uh, would not intend on going back. So, it poured good. It was decent tasting, a bit too watery. Amber color, cloudy. Uh, 